Hello, my name is Edo Korn, and I'm the Regional Sales Manager for Yokogawa Corporation of America. Today, I'm going to be talking about the DLM 2000. The purpose of today is to uh, give you a brief overview of the product and uh, show you how easy it is for uh, setup, acquisition, uh, saving of data. First, you'll notice that the format. The format is, is kind of unique on, in, on the market. You also see how fast the unit powers up. Uh, this is typically a shared resource that a lot of my customers. Uh, so what I normally like to do is I like to tell my customers to come in and hit the, uh, the default setup. But before we go there, let me talk about the interface. Uh, the interface has been designed to be very common and basic. That minimizes the amount of startup time that new users need to be able to collect and capture data. You'll see we have a vertical separate section, horizontal, trigger, and zoom area. Each channel is then represented by a backlit button. On the back, you'll notice built-in Pro Power as an option. We have a USB, the PC, USB, video out, gigabyte, Ethernet, etc. Again, hitting the default button returns the unit back to its original factory set conditions. Auto setup will quickly display any information on the screen. We also have a, a number of triggers, both simple and enhanced, which would allow you then to collect a lot of different types of, of uh, trigger parameters based on your, your scenario, including serial bus triggers, which are CAN, LIN, UART, I2C, SPY, and user defined. Once we display the data, we can easily then put in some search boxes to look at the analysis of the data. If there were a glitch to occur on the product, easily stopped. If we had missed the glitch, we can easily then go through this, uh, the history menu. You can see a button that lit up indicating that we have history menu memories on file. In this case, we have 250. Instead of showing one, let's show them all, and you'll see uh, quickly how they get displayed and how the anomalies then quickly appear. We can use a search parameter, if you like, up to four different ones, and set up a box to indicate um, how we want to define the search. Display the, the waveform that has uh, reached that parameter you've set. At this point, again, you could put in any kind of measurement parameters, depending on which ones you'd like to select, are quickly displayed on the screen and saved under a separate file. This data then can easily be printed out uh, to a built-in printer or saved to a file or you can insert it into a report. All of this data is then digital, so you can go back and then analyze it waveform by waveform if, if you like. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact our factory at tmi.yokogawa.com. Thank you.